<clears throat> All right. Hmm. The Anki gone. God, that's a lot of characters to study today. Okay, I'm never sure if this viewer right now, is it just me or is it actually somebody in here? So, apologize if I've been kind of quiet, but I finally got my Apple Pencil in. I went and just canceled my order from Amazon because it was taking forever. It was going to be till Sunday. I found it at a Verizon store, so I just picked that up and canceled my order. So now I'll be able to write everything, which is awesome. I wonder if there's a quick undo button on this. Let's find a shortcut. Double tap the pencil, the modal switch, and double tap to revert back. I already know that for the eraser. Nothing. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. For now, Let's get going. All right, here we go. Yameru G. Give me a hard one right off the bat, huh? That doesn't sound right. Shoot, I already started off with one wrong. All right, we're gonna. Brush that off, we're gonna do better. Here we go. Kinshi no kin. Kinshi oh, okay, Kinshi no kin. Alright, Kinshi no kin to forbid. You got the iPad, nice. I watched a little after stream video yesterday. I thought you knew it was tiny. Yeah. Man, so um I'm glad, you know, James, you're here. I got some feedback on things yesterday. I also picked up the pencil, which I'm really kind of psyched about, too. So now, like, yesterday's stream was pretty much all me just kind of writing with my finger. And, man, that takes a toll on you. But having a pencil, it the Apple Pencil, like, changes everything. But um, I do want feedback on how things are sounding, how things are looking. Um, you know, like you said, I didn't realize how, you know, tiny things were. But now, hopefully, the, the Anki cards are showing at a decent size. So... You can see the kanji character clearly. Um, I do my best to write rather, you know, a bigger on the paper on the on the iPad, so you can see the strokes that I'm doing and stuff. I also want to make sure, like my, you know, headset volume quality sounds okay. Um, you guys can hear when I play cards. You guys can hear that clearly. Um, I worked to download like a software to get that desktop audio transferred as well. So, you know, we're trying to get things up and running, man. I think the next thing I want to do is get like a, like a little mic that comes off from my wall, like right here. So then the quality of the audio is higher, but uh, we'll see right now. I'm just, I'm really happy to have kind of every essential item that I need to get going. But uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. Society. She. Dude, this kanji is my mortal enemy. Like, I know it. I can write this kanji a million times over, but every time I hear the readings, for some reason, I always mix it up with with this, like which is like shigeki, like stimulus or, or something like that. 
I don't know why, man. It's really frustrating. I've no, I've, I've been practicing this kanji for months, and for some reason, I, I think I have to edit the audio and make sure I get it. Uh, like give an example word, like, um, you know, shihai, shihai no shi or something. But for now, mark it wrong. Jitsu ni minoru. Jitsu, like uh, jitsua. Actually, real. Jisai. Hen atari. Hen atari. hen. This general area. Also, um, kind of a little sneak uh, preview, I guess. I finally started uh, editing my next video. Um, it's been years since I did something like that. So I'm pretty pumped. It should be, uh, I should hopefully be releasing it tomorrow. Um, it's from a, I decided to, I was going to combine everything into one giant video, like a life update, some leftover footage and stuff like that. But I figured just because they're so different, it might just be better to have it as a kind of separate thing. So my snowboarding vlog from uh, Hyogo, Japan, I'm working on editing that right now. That should be out uh, tomorrow. And then after that, I think I'll put up a like a life update video uh, where I just talk about, you know, what happened, where I am, maybe my thoughts on the JET program. I wanted to have like a like a review, like kind of you know, now that it's all done, how was my experience? What do I think? What I recommend it type of review. Uh, so I might mix that in with the life update, too, so people can kind of get an idea of what's going on and hopefully promote this uh, this study thing that I've been doing Um to get more people, you know, interested and motivated to start studying kanji and stuff like that and, and join us. K Uyama. This is like a respect. Keigo or Sonke. Oh my god. I even got the character right. Like I it does mean respect, but I put the wrong one there. That's really annoying. Friday is not off to a good start, folks. I got it wrong again. Okay. What did I just put? Kegel. Oh, so I put song. This kanji is song. How do I? How do I get the little color palette thing back? Okay, good. So this kanji is son, like uh, respect, and that's the one I accidentally wrote when the actual kanji being talked about was this. So I guess my mind was in the right place, but not good enough to get the right answer. So another one wrong. And we had a lot to study today. Tai, kaeru, kawaru. Tai, kaeru, kawaru. Okay. So I believe I got this one wrong yesterday. Good to get my revenge on it. Change, uh, like return, key guy, change clothes. That sounds awesome, man. Updates for your people. I first found you when you did your jet interviewing tips. I was back in Texas at the time, so I was wanting to hear about the process for texting. Wow, I'm glad you found uh, the channel, man. Um, honestly, although my goal was to have like a vlogging channel, and really when I started the the channel, it was to have like, a, you know, it was almost for my own sake, like because I'm really bad with taking pictures, and you know, I like to live in the moment or whatever. But I was like, dude, this is like a once in a lifetime experience. I need to make sure I have something to look back on. And so that's how I, that was the motivation to start the channel. But then when I started looking into the program, I was like, there's not many super helpful videos out there. So that's where my series on applying for the JET program kind of started. Got a lot of good feedback on it. You know, I got a lot of people that really um, use the tips. Um, a lot of people kind of went back and thanked me saying like, hey, that helped me get like in an interview or that helped me pass and get into the program. So I was pretty proud of that. But I'm glad you, you found it and you are willing to um, come back, James, because honestly, I just I just left the channel because I was just like, I don't know, you just lose motivation. You stop. You're really not into it anymore or whatever, whatever the case may be. It's hard to go in and create content and edit all the time when you got other things going on. So 
I think eventually it just kind of gets to the point where I got straight up lazy, you know. But I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you liked it and you're back. All right. Tai kairu kawaru. Replace. Here we go. I can't believe I got this one wrong yesterday too. This is like exist, like sonzai uh, suru, or if you go to a shop or something and your something is out of stock, then they'll say like like a uh, zaiko. Zaiko is a word for stock or inventory. Zaiko ga nai arimasen, or the infamous uh, you're not at home when your letter arrives, so you get the fuzai todoke thing, the little document that says you gotta fill out and go online to get your re-delivery set up. So zai aru. This is relatively easy. Chishiki, this is knowledge. Oh, that's too many. Is that right? Yep, we got it. Chishiki no shiki. No. Zetsu, tairu, tayasu. Zetsu, so this is like a zettai, another very common word in Japanese. So I'm going to write that out. Zettai, zettai ni. It actually doesn't mean like completely. It means to die out. Taeru, tayasu. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Zetsu bo, hopeless. Bi, mi, mi. So I've mentioned this a couple times. So uh, a lot of times um, when I'm doing the study session, my girlfriend who is Japanese, um, who's in Japan right now, uh, will just be on FaceTime with me while I'm practicing. And she'll be doing her own thing. And so sometimes she'll be hearing the kanji that I'm practicing. And when I record the audio for the card, she will like put her voice in there. So there's like a handful, like I won't say less than 10 cards that have her voice. And uh, honestly, that helps me remember because it's one of those unique things that are just like, it's like, oh, this is that card, and so it helps. It helps it helps you remember. Okay, so one thing I really like now that the size is actually like bigger here is when it's small, you can't really see this detail. You see how there's this little space here. That detail is hard to see. So if you're like, ah, oh, how do I write that again? It's really easy to just kind of forget and if you don't remember you might just do like it, I don't know I don't know how to explain it. it helps to know that it helps to se uh, know that you can see that separate little barrier and it separates it the top half and bottom half are separate kanji so I really like that be me it's bijin like beautiful person um utsukushi is like just beautiful bijutsu right all right we're back uh this was this. I'm not going to get it wrong this time. Wait a minute. There we go. Okay, yameru G. So this one is actually resign, like shigoto yameru, but also jisho no G. So it's kind of weird. Weird combination of meanings. E. Yudaneru. So this is like um, to entrust. Yudaneru. To entrust. Um, there's a lot of kanji that are in my N N4 to N2 deck that have this top part. You know, we have uh, kaori, like smell. We have kisetsu. And so... I try to find ways to remember the difference between, I mean, because there's no real reason why season, kisetsu, should have, like, kid or child. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason why smell should have son. So it's hard, to, there's no real, like, rhyme or reason for you to be like, that's the kanji. And so to even have one identifier to differentiate between what the kanji is, it is really helpful. So with yudaneru means to entrust, it has the kanji for a woman in there. And so the way I like to think about it is like, you know, you entrust something to your wife, to your woman. You put it, you know, you kind of put everything on there. So that's how I remember that one. So that's a little, if that helps um, anybody, I think that's a good way to remember and get that mnemonic in there. 
ゆだねるいいん若い、もしくは弱。若い、just, you know, young person, youth. No. Okay. And again, I mentioned I'm very particular about making sure I got the stroke order right. So we're going to check that right now. Dude, did I do that? I don't even remember what I did. Did I? How did I write this? I might have to say wrong because I don't remember. You know what? I'm going to say I got it wrong because I can't remember how I wrote it. I wish there was like a replay button. I might have to explore new notes apps so I can have like a replay button or see how I wrote things. But we'll say it's wrong. Society. This son of a gun. Told you, I get this one right all the time as far as like knowing it, but I just always mix it up with stuff. So I'm going to say, Society, she support. Society, like you support somebody. She has to do to rule over control. There, there's another example of she recorded a card for me, and that just helps you remember. So this one is so. I'm going to make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. So, so this is like a go so building is like a skyscraper. So I was I was having a lot of trouble with this kanji. I was like, dude, I can't think of any mnemonics. I don't know why it's just not sticking in my head. And so she recorded the card for me, and now I'd never get it wrong. So that's super super helpful. Go tagai katamini. So this is like a. Ah, konnichiwa. Nobe shoaku. Nope, san. Nani shitoru? Nani shitoru? Kanji de nanshu shite mas. One thing I was thinking about after you mentioned you weren't a fan yet of the iPad. I've seen people do this for other things where they make a template on the iPad. So, like. Uh, so, like making one for this with boxes or lines for the kanji, maybe four columns, and then when you finish the page, you can just copy, duplicate. That's a good idea. Ah, shoken des. Ah, hajimashite, onegaishimasu. No hongo umai na. Ah, arigatou gozaimasu. Eh, hontori ni desu ka? Sugoi desu ne. Uh, yeah, you know, um, James, you're right. Uh, I should, I should, um, practice. Practice. I should find. I'm gonna explore more things over the weekend. I now that I have more time to kind of find the best type of apps and stuff like that for a writing learning experience. I know artists have a lot of cool apps that they use, like Procreate and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe that might be the route I take. Nihon ni iru, maji mo yakedo. Nihon ni wa inai desu ne. Mukashi wa sundetan dakedo, 3 nen mai gurai. Ima wa mo Amerika ni imasu. Osaka ni sundetan yakedo na. 俺は、あ、大阪か。僕は京都に住んでました。The templates could be like the workbooks that you can customize to... You're right. I mean, man, I gotta look into some of those apps, James. That sounds like a really good idea. Alright, here we go. So, go tagai katamini. So, this just means like each other. I don't know what it is about this kanji. It's really satisfying to write. アメリカかっけえ。あ、そうなんだ。いや、別にそんなかっこよくないと思う。<笑>ありがとうございます。なんて書いてあるこれ。ちっちゃいな、字が。読めない。OK。Go, たがいかたみに。So, each other reciprocate. Okay, we're back to respect. K uyamau. K go. Oh, that balance is terrible. You see how I have all the space left over here? That's not good. So let's write again. That's a little better. 
All right. K we have K go son K suru respect. Uh, Kinmu, like a shift, work shift. Oh no, I forgot the right hand side. Oh god. No, what was the right hand side? Oh, it was this. Sweet. We're looking pretty good. Gunwa, America, Jin, Minna. Gun! <laughs> ah, gun! Gun wa motteru ka na? Boku wa motte nai da kedo. Okay. Kinmu. Duty service. Alright. Here we go. Next one. So, uh, this is actually a kanji I learned yesterday. Rain. That's ugly. I forgot that right. Let's check the stroke order on that. Got it. Ooh, ame. Okay. I don't. I'm, I know, of course, when I see this, I'll think ame, but I'm not very familiar with the ooh, so I'm not going to say easy just quite yet. I'll hit uh, good on there. Nihon de ju kao kana, Nihon go de sekai de mo muskashi no. Nihon go de ju kao, Nihon go de kaeru kana, kae nae to mo nakido. Eh, Nihon go de sekai de mo muskashi no? Hm? Ya? Naka, benki o stakat tara, mama, ikeron jai ska. もちろんなんか会話なんかコンバセーションパートナーとか見つけるのはなかなか難しいんだけどでもまあやる気があればこのグローバル社会にはなん,なんとかできるんじゃないですかサイザイサイザイ So this is like a, This is like サイフ No no this is like 木材 Damn it! I got it wrong again. I hate you, Kanji. This is like、uh, Saifu. And for some reason, I wrote、uh, Mokuzai's Kanji on there. Saizai. So Saifu is like wallet. Kaeru yo. Shotogun. Kaeru rashi shi. Nihonjin no. No shigoto to ka muite so. Kono kanji wa wakanai na. Nan to ka setsu. Nani kore? Shirabe te mi yo. Muskashi ji ga dete kita. Hon yaku. Ya, hola. Yome yome nai kara. 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 Yome yome nai So, Saifu, we got that wrong. We're going to try that again. So, this is like a h a p i o presentation to show, right? Zasekiyo. So, I worked, as, since I worked in Japan、um, as a teacher, this is one of those words that you'd always see, like a seating, seating chart. Arawasu to show to represent. Hyo arawasu omute. Kieru kesu shou. Kieru kesu shou. Okay. So this is like to erase. Very good. Kieru means like to disappear. Shouka, which means digestion. Keshikomu, eraser. Alright. He, Ina. He, Ina. Oh, dude, I'm just blanking right now. He, Ina. Bokumo ego wa kara nai kara. Narao. Narao. Ya, gambate kudasai. Do yate kono channel mitsukitan desu ka? Nanka, nanka, 
チャンネル始める、あの、ストリーム始めるとき、ライブ始めるとき、なんかタグとか検索できるように書く,書くんですけど、これ全然日本語のタグ書いてないのによく見つけましたね。素晴らしい。ひ、いなってなんだっけひ、いな、ひ、いな。忘れた。Oh my god. I should know this. 否定文 negative sentence, like a, you know, not negative in the sense of like the vibe is negative, but literally like a, I didn't do it, or, you know, stuff like that. I can't believe I got this one wrong. I was on a pretty good streak. Joshua no show. Joshua no show. I think this is like chapter in a book. We got it. 日本語を習うと調べたら出てきた英語で。あすごい。あじゃあ、やっぱりタグは聞いてますね。よかった。ありがとうございます。なんか、このストリームで日本語で喋る可能性があるかとは全然、なんか,かん、あの、思わなかった。嬉しいです。Uh, no. Joshua is like a chapter, like in a book. Show. Joshua is like the pre-、uh, preface of a book. This one I kind of have trouble with sometimes. Luckily, I got it right this time. All right, here we go again. So we got this. I, I think it's down first, sideways across, then it's the square. So let's double check the stroke order. Down, 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 down first, across, and then the square. Perfect. Wakai Moshkuwa Jaku just means youth, young person. Perhaps. Sen, uranau, uranai, shimeru. Uranau, uranai. So this is like a fortune telling. Uran, like my, my girlfriend's friend really likes this. Uranau, uranai, like a fortune teller, like the palm readers and stuff like that. She's, they're Japanese. I, I thought that was kind of interesting. Keisan no san. Keisan no san. Okay. Kore kino wa tigata ne. COVID 19 owata nihon ni kite mite ne. Ah, arigato o z a i m a s Hai. Sugu nihon naka. Ikere harion ni natara nihon ni kitae to m o i m a s 毎日ニュースとかチェックしてて。でも、まだなかなかならないですよね。日本のコロナの状況。Okay. So we got 計算の算。計算 means like to calculate. Good, good stuff. 似る、じ。似る is like a, 似ている、like resemble. Dude, it is nice writing with this pencil as opposed to a pen. Or as opposed to my finger. Niru G. n i t e i r u So it's like resemble. You'll probably hear that in,、uh, in, um, in anime a lot. And this is kind of this is interesting. So this kanji is Ruiji. Ruiji, resemble. So this is actually the, the inspiration for Luigi from Mario's name. For somebody who's not like a Mario super fan that probably already knows. Luigi's name it comes from the Japanese word Rigi, which means to resemble because he resembles Mario. I thought that was pretty cool. Coronavirus is a little bit of a vaccine. I'm going to get a vaccine. I'm going to get a vaccine. I'm going to get a v So I thought that was kind of cool. Rigi. 書く額。forehead。金額、amount、forehead、額。I was about to say your strokes seem much more confident with the pencil. Glad you got today. Thought you said it was coming Sunday. James,、um, it was coming Sunday. But being the,、uh, you know, the 
pro shopper that I am, um, I was just online browsing and I saw that um, Verizon, because the reason I got it from Amazon was like, you know what, I'm just going to get one of those uh, um, Amazon, um, the used ones, the ones that are like refurbished. And so I saved like 30 bucks on it. And I was like, okay, you know, that makes sense. Um, but unfortunately, it was coming Sunday. And by chance, I saw that Verizon had a um, sale on it. And the price came out to be exactly the same. And they had in-store pickup available. So I canceled my Amazon order. And I got it uh, today from Verizon. Just because I was like, I want to make the most use of it. I want to use this weekend time to really be able to kind of mess around with it. So made an effort to actually get it. <laughs> But I appreciate that. It definitely does feel a lot, feels way nicer to write with this thing. Is that right? Damn it. So I got the left part wrong. Oh, it's one of those days, man. It's like a kekko. Kekko. Posture build. It's kind of weird meanings, but kamai masen. Kosei, which means organization. All right, we're going to try that one again. Kurenai beni ko ku. So this is like a crimson. It means like. Um, you know, kocha, like a uh, tea. Kuchi beni is like lipstick. What is it? Ko, ku, right? And f interesting fact, anyone who's a fan of Naruto will remember a character named Kurenai Sensei. She was the the lady with like red eyes and black hair. Um, she was Asuma's husband. Her name was Kurenai Sensei, right? So it's because she, was, she had crimson kind of qualities. So I thought that was kind of cool. Helps me remember. That's one mnemonic I have. Yep, kocha, kuchibeni, kurenai just means uh, crimson by itself. Ka, ke, bakeru, bakasu. Ka, ke, bakeru, bakasu. I think I... I'm brain farting hard right now. I know this. I do know it. I think that's it. Yes! Ka is like a bunka or something, or something like that. Change, right? Bunka. We got henka. Henka means to change. Obake just means ghost, which I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know why that's related to this kanji, but. U ame again. Rain. We got rain up in here. Right. Very nice. Toku setsu zei. Toku setsu zei. So I believe this is setsu mei no setsu. So because it's related to words, explanations, we have this kanji right here, and then we have the zei part right there. So one way to remember is there's another word, zei kin, which means uh, tax, right? So that also has this radical as well. So one way to kind of help you remember Zeikin and Zei Setsume Toku. All right, moving on to the next one. And again, just for reference for, I know there's like only three viewers here, but like the way I'm doing it is I'll play and I don't look at the kanji. I just kind of hear the onyomi kunyomi and then I guess the writing. So this is, I got this wrong earlier. This is like Saifu. Wallet. Money, wealth is a meaning. Bunka zai, so like cultural treasures or something. Kishiki no kei. Kishiki no kei. So this one is kind of interesting. Kishiki no kei. So the word kishiki, which means like, here, let me just look it up. This means like view. scenery right kishiki is actually per, um, pronounced 
it's not pronounced keishiki, it's pronounced keishiki. So I thought it was really interesting that if I write this out, keishiki, that's not really the word here for environment, right? But if I write keishiki, that's scenery. Despite the reading for this kanji, see how it says just keishiki? But the reading for this kanji is actually k. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know why it's like that, but sometimes things just don't make sense. Shokyu no show. Shokyu uh, means like to ascend. Shokyu means like an increase in salary. Right. My my flow. I gotta I gotta get this right again. Right? So, sho means like an increase or ascension. Sho q means an increase in salary. It's like a raise. So, we got this bad boy again. No denial. My example is hitebun, like a negative sentence. Okay. This one. Let me see if I got this right. This I always write this kanji and it ends up being like super long. Do you have to make your own cards recordings? So oh I didn't know. Uh, you and your girlfriend were in the, were the recording. Yeah yeah it's me. Um, you know I could just find decks out there. Um, but. I like to have as many sort of sensory inputs as possible when I'm trying to learn Japanese, right? Um, so that's why instead of just read, like learning how to read the kanji, I'm learning to write them. That's why I also make my own cards because that experience, that output input that I have with the language kind of, it all comes together in my head to help me learn. So I, that's how I feel. Um, and it's been pretty effective. It does take a little bit more time, but it's definitely um, effective for me. But you got to find whatever works for you, man. I'm not the... I like really being hands-on with with my study tools, so I'm not I'm not very I, I don't usually just go out and find other um st but study tools whether it's my own whether it's Japanese or some other subject. So, mm -hmm. exactly, multiple points of attack. You got it. Yawarakai ju nu. So this is soft, but ju also means like judo. So I thought that was kind of cool. Cool. Oh, let me. Make sure it's not being covered up. By the way, do you think this this layout is okay? Like my camera here at the bottom left, this iPad screen here, G Show in the background and stuff. Hopefully that um, works. I know there's a lot going on, but Moshikomo no komo. Moshikomo no komo. So this is like crowded. Moshikomo is like to apply for something, right? Komu is like konderu. Eki ga konderu. Saka, sakarau, sakasa, kyaku. Um, I use a lot of anime references, I'm sorry, because I am a fan of uh, anime. But anyone that, there's an anime that I really like called, actually no, this doesn't have anything to do with the kanji, never mind. I'll do, I'll talk about the anime once, once the right kanji comes in. But this is like, um, uh, gyaku, like reverse, right? Like, um, Gyakuni something so Sakasama is like uh, upside down so you know Sakasama Gyakukoka backfiring reversal Shi Eda it's like branch that is really ugly I'm sorry try again branch of a tree Uh, otozeru, zureru, tazuneru means to visit. Homon means also to visit. Right? Jutsu, sube. Jutsu, sube. This is like, um, like skill or art. But 
hold on. Hope that's right. Oh, we did it. Jitsu. So this is like a gijutsu, right? Um, technology. Subenashi. This is an interesting word. I don't know what to do. I like your video in the iPad positionings. Jisho and the deck are a little rough since you need to see the deck, but sometimes you need to go to the site. Maybe splitting the deck and uh, splitting the deck and iPad on one side of the screen, top bottom. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Uh, right now, the the reason the reason it looks like this right now is because I have my my streaming software set up and the iPad input is an input by itself. My camera is an input by itself. And then the rest of it is just my desktop. And that gives me the flexibility to kind of, you know, show my screen, hide it and stuff like that. Another option I have is to specifically stream the Anki program and then to specifically stream the, uh, the browser for G show. The only problem is I felt, I feel like that might kind of crowd things and make it a little hard to see, but I don't mind testing that out. I might give that a shot, um, to see what that looks like. So I appreciate that suggestion. Um, and again, I don't really work off the screen. The way it looks on the display is what it looks like right now. But if I were to stream specifically, then I could have this fixed in a position, for example, like, like right here or something. And then on my own screen, even if I move it around, because the desktop is being streamed, I'm sorry, not desktop, because the Anki program by itself is being streamed directly, even if I move this around, what y'all see will not move. So that's definitely something we can try. I might give that a shot. Cool. Okay, we did this earlier, right? Cool. Posture built. Kamaimasen. Iru kyo, like to exist, reside. Insatsu no satsu. Insatsu means like to print. I believe this is insatsu no satsu. Nice. Ko ku kura. So this is like a rezo ko. And so this would just be rezo ko. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, it was this. Nice. So this is like storage, storehouse, rezo ko, refrigerator. Iwa gan. Iwa gan. Rock. Very nice. Shukudai no shuku. Yadori. Shukudai no shuku. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. This is shukudai no dai. Ooh, that was a close call. Nice. Shukudai no shuku. Yadori. This means like storage. Not storage. Uh, to stay over a lodging. Shukudai, this is also the kanji for Shinjuku, the area in Tokyo. Cho, Cho. this is like a super, ultra, very, so it's like Cho Atsui or something. Wait. I forgot what comes here, to be honest with you. Is it this? I think that's it. We got it. Cho. So what's really interesting about Japanese is in, I guess this is more so a modern times thing, but don't hold me 100% to that. But a lot of times people will take kanjis that have a meaning and create a reading for it. So like, for example, the new Dragon Ball, the new Dragon Ball series, it was called
It's called this, but it wasn't called Dragon Ball Cho. It was called Dragon Ball Super. So I thought that was pretty interesting when I learned about that. Ken Katai. Strict. Firm. Katai has a lot of different meanings, man. Katai can mean hard, like, you know, rock solid. Katai can mean strict. Katai can mean a couple of different things. So a lot of kanji just have the meaning of katai, but each usage is different. Matsurigoto Seisho. So this is like um, politics. Seiji. Chi ji osamaru naosu. Chi ji osamaru naosu. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think that's right. No, that's not right. This is say show. I didn't mean Habuku. We want to do this. So chi. So we just did say matsuri goto say show. This is chi ji osamaru naosu. So say ji together. Means politics. Ko kau majiru majiwaru. I think this is it. Ko kau. Yeah, okay. So this is like exchange or make. Oh, shoot! Click the button too fast. It means like. Uh, uh, let's just look it up. Well, it means like. Ko um, kau majiru. Like mix up, entangle, exchange. So, sen, sen is like um, sem, sen mon, senko, like a specialty. Gakko, my, my uh, senko is like your major in college. Senko. Right? Ooh, I just learned this one yesterday. And I'm already forgetting it. Uh huh. Okay, so we got the rain kanji at the top. Then we've got this bad boy. Wait, that's not right. Let's try again. We've got the rain kanji at the top. I think that's right. Let's double check. All right, we're good. So that should be the stroke order. We're going to mark this incorrect, and I hope it'll come back again for us to practice. Mukashi shaku seki. Another word that's quite common. Uh, and I just got it wrong. I just put oto instead of mukashi. So don't be like me. Don't make that mistake. Mukashi means like long ago. Suaru za. Suaru za sit. That doesn't sound right. Hold on, let me try this again. I want to make sure I got the stroke right. I put this for this part right here, but I wonder if it's that. Let's double check. Oh, see? Okay, I got that wrong. It's the line first, then the two, it's the vertical line first, then the two horizontal lines. So we want to be particular about getting those stroke orders right. So we're going to mark this bad boy as incorrect. Thank you, no den. Thank you, no den. Just did this, so it was rain. Rectangle, horizontal line, little tail coming out. Thank you. Electricity. Shi, kokoro miru, tamesu. Shi kokoro miru tamesu. This is like um like shiken, like a test. So 
I think this is it. Yeah, shiken, like a test. Tamesu means to test yourself. Tam, like try yourself to attempt. Kokoro miru tamesu. All right. Hobo ryaku. So this is like um, abbreviation. Shoryaku means to abbreviate, like an abbreviated word, like um, like we can write uh, Mr. as Mr. This is the Shoryaku there. Hobo ryaku. It also means like um, well, let's just stick with that for now. Shin oya shitashi. Shin oya shitashi. Oya, um, of course, means parents. Um, shinsetsu means like kind. Shinyu means like best friend. Ten mise tana. This is like a shop. Mise is like shop. Ten, you'll see that you'll see the word as ten, often used at the end of a branch or the name or something like uh, like um, for example McDonald's Kyoto Ten. So like the McDonald the the Kyoto branch or the Kyoto location shop of McDonald's. Here's some other good ones. Um, hate then means shut down. Sotsugyo, graduate. Write that again just to be sure. Pretty straightforward. Nengan no nen. This is like a kinen or something like an anniversary celebration. Nengan means to like wish. Ho. Yutaka. Oh, I am drawing a blank right now, folks. Oh, Yutaka. And would it be that? Nope. Hosaku. Shit. So this is like um, wealth, abundance. I, I get this one wrong, wrong, wrong quite often as well. Mean, tell me. Mean, like uh, koku mean, like um, citizens of a country. Oops. That's kind of small. Let's try this again. Shukudai no dai. So I wrote this earlier. This is this. Right? Homework. Topic, subject. Wadai. Shukudai. Good stuff. Kayobi no ka hi. no ka hi. So this is pretty simple. It's just fire. Kayobi, of course, just means Tuesday. Um... He is just fire. It's a pretty easy one. Yo, togeru. Oh, okay. This is uh, to melt or dissolve. And so we're going to do this. I believe this is right, but let's see. Nice. So we got it. Tokeru. So when you put... This is interesting. So the word for melt and dissolve are the same. So... Uh, when you have like Japanese students, you might have somebody that'll say like, yeah, I put the salt in the water and it melted. 
because in their mind they look up Tokiru and they, they see the word melt. Uh, but you got to know like which one they're talking about, so it's a little tricky. Kenjo no cho. Kenjo no cho. So this is like uh, Ken is like prefecture. So this is like um, prefectural office, government agency, prefectural headquarters. Kenjo. Yasai no ya. Yasai no ya. So this is like vegetable. And how did this thing start again? No, that doesn't look right. That's something else. Sometimes I'll just be forgetting, man. Simple stuff. Okay, so it's going to be this. Yes, I know. Yeah, no. And I'm going to confirm that stroke order real quick. Nice. Okay, so we got to remember that one. Kan, Ken, Aida, Ma. Kan, Ken, Aida, Ma. It's pretty straightforward, just jikan or, or like space in between interval. Kukan. Okay, uh, gan means like a face, a uh, kao means like face. So we're going to have this. Hope that's right. Yep, we got it. Uh, excuse how ugly this looks, man. Gan kao. Ooh, so this is a very staple kanji. I just learned this one yesterday. I think that's right. Nice. Kibun no ki, genki, or k like shikke, like moisture. Chirio means like to heal, Chiri, right? So uh, the kanji would be. I think that's right. Yeah, let's double check that stroke order. Make sure we're getting the stroke order right on here. Looking good. Chidio no ryo. Good stuff. Honya no ya. Oku. Honya no ya. So this is like um like the way to describe shops. Oku is okujo like a like a roof of a building. But man, I cannot remember how to write this thing. Hold up. Uh Shoot, I, I give up. Okay. So we've got the little P thing, this, and then dirt. Okay, we got to remember that. So I got this one wrong despite 100% knowing what it is and not, I shouldn't be getting it wrong, long ago. Tatsu Tachi. Tatsu Tachi, uh, okay. I think that's right. So I, I mess this one up a lot. I don't know why. I don't know why I do. It's a very common kanji. Tomodachi, right? Hitotachi. But for some reason, this one just gets me. One, two, three lines, downwards, then squiggly thing. Okay, we got it right this time. But it's still quite hard for me. So I'm going to mark it as hard. Okay, to sit. And we learned again, right? The vertical line first, then the small lines. Suaru za. To sit down. Denki no den. 
Denki again. Again, we learned that it was rain, rectangle, tail. Denki no den. Electricity. Ryoku, roku, midori. Green. So I know Midori is green, but how do we write this thing? I believe it's this. Then I believe it's this. Okay. We got it, but let's double check. Let's double check that stroke order, make sure we're, we're on the right track here. Okay, we got it. Yoku Midori. Tochu no to. Tochu means like um, in the middle of tochu ni. To, like in you know in the middle of something when you're doing something you're in the middle of something, and that is just this bad boy from what I believe. We got it. Yobi. Nichi yobi, kayobi. And I'm going to make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. That is just too far apart. One of the hardest parts for me, for sure, when kanjis have a lot of stuff going on, it's hard to get the balance right. Um, so I'm not sure if anybody else experiences trouble with that, but it's definitely kind of tough for me. Nojo no no. Nojo is like a like farmland, but I don't remember how it goes. I think it's this. Let's try. Oh, we got it. Nice. Although I could make this line a little bit longer. Farming. No, Joe. Tsu, toru, Tsu, toru, to pass through. Go through traffic. Futsu, usual. Right, toru to pass through something, kayo um, to go towards some place and come back, kayoteru. So hashiru. So hashiru. This is running, and sometimes I just be forgetting easy kanji. I think this is it. Yes, we got it. I got to do better about making this part. This part a curve. Let's try again. You know, as opposed to how you see how flat this is. I need to be careful about that. Enso means to, to race, like a foot race. Ho oh, Okay, we're back to this one again, right? Wealth. Ho saku. Boshi no bo. So boshi mean boshi means hat, right? So boshi no bo. I do have a little mnemonic that I use to remember this. I explained it in one of my last um, streams, where first of all you just got to know that it's going to start off with this on the left side. So you this is I don't really have a mnemonic for this part yet, but what I do know is the right side is going to have this, the kanji for sun, and then the kanji for I. So you wear a hat to protect your eyes from the sun. Boshi no bo. Ran midasu. Ran midasu. So this is like a chaos. Konran. Konran is like chaos. Disorder. Midasu. Reki shino reki. Okay, so sometimes I forget if it's going to be this or it's going to have a line. I'm pretty sure it's not that one. Oops. I'm pretty sure it's not this one, so let's try. Reki shino reki. 
And I'm going to write this a little bit bigger so everybody can see. We got it. We got it, folks. There is no line. The Kishino Reki. Let's go with good as opposed to hard. Fuin, another very common uh, kanji in like anime and stuff. Uh, I believe it's just. I believe that's it. Yeah. You got two of these dirt kanjis. So this one is kind of like a slant. Like, hey, next step is that way. That's how I like to think of that one. Like, oh, so the ones that have like the double line, they tend to always be slanting upwards when they're on the left side, like this. So for me, I think I think about it is so basically what I'm saying is they are not written like this. Rarely are they written like that. Like I can't think of something. So typically when they're on the left side and they've got this bottom line, it tends to be slanted up. And so for me, it's like, oh, next kanji is that way, buddy. <laughs> like that way and then fu this is this kanji often just means fu so you'll by rep by a process of repetition and just doing kanji you'll see like whenever this kanji is there it te if it's fu then it's it might have that kanji in there seal yes i know yeah no okay so we got this one wrong earlier Yes, I know. Yeah. Vegetable. No. Plains. Fields. Nagano prefecture. Nagai and then no. Nagano. Ya, sai. Vegetables. Sha, kuruma. Pretty simple. Straightforward. Car. We can just be easy on that one. Jo, nyo, onna. Jo, nyo, Onna, woman. This kanji, when you see it, you'll immediately know, right? Well, this probably this means woman. It's deceptively tricky to write because it's really easy to lose the balance of it. Like, like when I was first learning this kanji, I kept making this angle too like acute. I kept doing that, and that would make my kanji always look really strange. You know, like it would always look weird. But then I was like, oh, let's just open the little angle up a little bit, right? Open this up a little bit. So I started doing that. And that really helps me write that kanji. So a little word of advice if you ever have trouble writing this simple kanji for onna, for woman, open up this part. That definitely helped me out. Kibun no ki. Okay. Kibun, right? We just did this earlier. Kibun is like a feeling. Genki. Uh, K is like shikke, uh, like moisture. Taiwan. Wan just means like bay. So first things, oh, let's make this a little bit bigger. That is ugly as hell. Hold on, let me try again. Taiwan no one. Gulf. Like literally, like gu gulf of water. We got this wrong earlier today, right? Honyano. Oh, that is ugly. Honyano ya. Oku. Okujo, like a roof. Hon, like shop. Okujo, Honya. Yane, which also means roof. Oh, pretty easy, just nine. Kyuku, Kokonotsu. That's, I gotta, I don't like that. No, what am I doing? 
Mm-hmm. Nice. No, pretty easy. Han. Meishi. Han. Meishi. Like Gohan. Meishi. Like. Like Meishi. Like food. So. There are a lot of kanjis that have this bad boy in it. Nomu, to drink, has that kanji in it. Um, you know, uh, what else has it in there? Like, um, I can't think of others on top of my head. But anyways, so it's really important to be able to differentiate that. Differentiate, this, differentiate these kanjis with what the character is on the right side. This bad boy. This guy, this guy is often read as just Han, right? So Gohan, or I'm sorry, like uh, Gohan, Nohan, Meshi, right? That's what it's called. Han, Meshi. We know that, that it's going to start off with this guy right here, but then is it going to be, like for me, I often mix it up. Like, is, would it be this? Right? Which means to drink. Or is it going to be that? But Han, I know that that's going to be that, so we're good. Little advice. Just find ways to differentiate. It doesn't have to make sense, but as long as it clicks with you and resonates with you, you'll be good. We've already been going for an hour. Nice. All right, next kanji. Aruku, arumu, ayumu, sampo no ho. Just to walk. Relatively simple kanji. Staple. Sampo, which means a stroll or a walk. Buai, which means ratio. Ippo means like step. Rei modoru. Rei modoru, to return. I'm trying to think, how do I write this kanji? Rei modoru. Dude, I am blanking. Give up. Oh, see? Oh, damn. Okay. Modoru. Return. Day new. Interesting. Reversal of funds. So, hako. Box. Hako. Right, simple. Kind of weird, though. I don't know yet why it has I, but whatever. Hanbai no han. Hanbai means, like, to sell. Again, check it out. We talked about Han earlier, right? We got Han right here. Hanbai no Han. This part right here, this guy, is often appears in money-related kanji characters um, from what I've seen. So just a little just a little thing I noticed, especially on the left side. On the left side, it tends to appear from money-related kanjis. Hanbai, um, sell, like to begin to sell. Yofuku, yo uh, means like um, Western, but fuku means clothes, right? So that's what our focus should be. Uh, but what is, so I know that the, that's the left, that's the right side. What was the right side of fuku? Shoot, I am blanking again. Yo fuku no fuku. Uh, what are we? What are we doing here? Oh, you know what? I think I got it. I think it's the moon, and then this. We did it. See? Trust the brain, man. Some it's in there somewhere. Sometimes you'll find it just by pondering. Yo fuku no fuku. So fuku just means clothes. Okay. Tōjaku no tō. Ah, oh, should I looked at it by accident? Tōjaku no tō to arrive somewhere. Uh, like kikoki ga tōjaku shimashita or something. So that's tōjaku is kind of more of a little bit of a formal word, 
um, like you wouldn't just uh, you just say tsuku or tsuita um, in regular day to day conversations. Regular day to day conversations, but like um, tochaku means arrive in like a little more formal language. I'm gonna say I got this wrong because I looked at it and that's cheating in my book, and I don't want to wait 20 days to see this kanji again. So. Dai kawari. So this means like. Oh, that is ugly. Why am I writing this so bad? <laughs> I give up. I just I just write it ugly. Dai kawari means to like uh, re replace something or substitute something. Jidai means like time period. Kawari means in exchange of. So something like um, um, nani nani. Some things no kawari ni, right? In exchange of something. Meire no re just means like uh, order. Order somebody. This is one of those kanjis that I was talking about um, a couple of days ago where it's like it doesn't look the way it's written. Like this is the typeset way you write it, like this weird kind of that. But when you actually write it by hand, it's written like this. Uh, kind of like how we have G, the lowercase letter G, like that. But in Times New Roman, it's like this weird, that looking thing, you know? You know what I'm talking about? That ugly G. So that's how this is. So this guy is the type version. What you see on your screen is a type version. But when you write it, it's written like this. Kind of interesting. So it's really important when you're learning kanji, don't learn it off just the typed font. Look up the stroke order because oftentimes, uh, yeah, the weird G, you know what I'm talking about? Um, oftentimes it's going to be uh, written differently than it is, typed differently than it is written. So it's really important to not look at just this part, but also make sure your textbook, your website or whatever, it has the stroke thing. Like even here, look at this kanji, green, right? You've got this little... Um, this con this conjure here, and then on this part, it goes dot, like line up, and then it has this weird kind of connecting thing. But when you actually write it, there's four separate lines going in opposite directions, so a little different. Meire no re. Do warabe. Do warabe. This is a pretty uncommon kanji, I think, but it means um. This kanji means like uh. I think like. Oh shit! Yeah. This means like uh, juvenile. Juvenile is what it means. Juvenile child. Um, I don't know why I chose this word um, as an example, and I'll tell you why actually. I'm not. I'm not gonna hide this. Um, I really liked that one anime, Bleach, a long time ago. I used to watch that show a lot, and. Um, James, I don't know if you ever watched anime, but there was like a character in Bleach, old dude. He was like the leader of the the, the Shinigamis or whatever. Sorry, my dog is kind of going crazy. And um, he had this line where they were fighting like the big, the, like the enemies or whatever. And he's super old. And so he used this word, koappa. And he just said like something like about like, I'm not going to get bullied by you brats or whatever. And he just did this move that he, we hadn't seen how strong he was until that point and he did this move and just burned them all in fire it was so cool so um that word really stuck with me for a long time that's why he's in an example sentence it's not even if you look at it it's not even written here as a pronunciation a lot of words will have like um exemption pronunciations so i whenever they have those i'll, I'll make sure to keep those in mind and write them down but give me one second i'm gonna let my dog out of the room one sec All right, so that's do warabe. Moving on to the next one. 
Fuan no fu. So fuan just means like to worry. But this just also just means no, like a negative, a negating word. So it's like in English we have words like um, non or un, right? Nonfiction, unpopular. So di this, this, these kanjis, there's a couple of others. I, I think even this is another one. And then there's one more, I believe. They're all like what in English what these type of words are. Un, non, whatever. And you know how in English you don't really know if it, like if somebody doesn't know the language, they might read, they might see the word popular and then you ask them, hey, what's the opposite of popular? They'll be like, non-popular? Like the only way you know it is by knowing the language. So a lot of Japanese words are actually like that. You won't know which um, negative word it is. So so fuan means, uh, so it's a negative non-word. It means uh, worry or, or nervous. All right, moving on. O aku uh, aku That's just uh, evil. I wrote that really ugly. Why do I make this? I gotta I make this line too long. That's a lot better. O aku evil. Sayaku, which means, oh, that's, it's often used in, in language, like, oh, sayaku, oh, that's terrible, this sucks. Wadui just means evil. Me, mayo. Uh, me, mayo. Um, mayo means, like, to be, like, mayotteru, oh, I'm kind of, I'm not sure which one I should do, I'm kind of lost about it. Me, me waku means, like, literally a burden or bothering, bothering somebody. So, me is me waku, that's, like, to be bothering somebody mayo means like oh and i don't know if i should you know have chicken or beef today like i'm mayotteru very straightforward just country just like that that's pretty straightforward i'm gonna hit easy on this one man ban yorozu what in the hell? I think I know what this is. This is like Ichiman, like 10,000. But how do I... How was this written again? It's so simple, yet so so hard. No, that doesn't look right. Oh, it's pretty close, I guess. This actually just looks like kata without the little thing. Ichiman, Ichimayan. So like whenever in Japan, um, it's changing now apparently. A lot of there's been a lot of shift in Japan in preparation for the Olympics. Like, um, and one of those was moving from a almost exclusive cash-based society to one that has a lot more credit card kind of available like uh, usage, I guess, acceptance. And so when I lived there, it was still very much cash, like for the most part everywhere. And um, so you'd have to go to the ATM to withdraw money. And uh, I would withdraw money ichiman yen at a time, so 10,000 yen at a time, which is roughly equivalent to about 100 bucks. So that's just a little interesting fact about Japan. So 10,000. We're going to get that again. Rei modoru. Rei modoru. So we got this wrong earlier, but we're not going to get it wrong this time, right? Return. Rin hayashi. Rin. Hayashi, okay. This means like uh like uh woods, forest. Futsu waku wakasu. Futsu waku wakasu. Futsu waku oyu wa wakasu means like to boil. I wrote that really ugly, I'm sorry, so let me try this again. There we go. G toki. G toki time, right? Hopefully I remember this. It should be pretty straightforward. Yep. Jikan. Right? 
time. Shitsumon no mon to like toyawase, like to ask or inquire. Question ask. Imi no i. Imi, uh, the meaning of a word. Imi no i. Uh, I believe it's this. All right, we got it. And I think I'm just for my own shits and giggles. I think that's me. Nice. That is interesting. Do you think they'll have a hybrid model going forward for cash or will Olympics really fun? Man, I don't think. I don't think it'll ever be like fully cash. Like Japan, even now, like when you go to like, um, from what I've, what I've been hearing, when you go to like, you know, festivals and matsuris and stuff like that, they're still, you know, they're not going to just whip out like a square card reader. You're still going to have to, you still very much need cash. It's just, there's more availability. I don't foresee, um, you know, it transitioning to a f pretty much fully cash uh, card society, kind of like what America is right now. Like, of course you can use cash everywhere, but most people don't carry cash. I don't think it'll ever be like that. Um, well, I, I can never say never, right? But I don't foresee that happening. Um, just because they're very... Cash is real. I think that's what kind of resonates with a lot of people. Like, they have it in their hands. And, and a lot for a lot of people, they're used to it. They're used to budgeting that way. It's so much so that in Japan... You know how over here we have, like... Um, 401ks. We've got, like... People put their money in, like, stock markets and stuff like that. People literally just stockpile their cash in bank accounts for the most part over there. Uh, they just like having money. with. They, they don't like having their money out there. They don't like having the money being in a risky type environment. Um, it's very much like keep the money type of uh, vibe over there for sure. Dude, Tojak, I looked at the kanji again. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I have to mark this as no. Cho osa nagai. Cho Osa nagai. What the hell is this? Oh, nagai, like uh, long. That's too small. Long or a leader of something. Shacho, like president of a company, nagai. U, you, migi. Migi means right. Ooh, I wonder if that's right. From what I remember, left is left is this, like horizontal first, then this, then this. Whereas Migi is downward first and then the square. Let's double check the stroke order. So I did the down for Migi, I did downward first, then horizontal line. And oh, we got it. We got it, boys and girls, if there are boys and girls, if there are any. Ooh, Miggy. Ooh, you, Miggy. Ooh, you, Miggy. Namae no Yume, right? Famous. Namae. Name. Famous. Yume. No, no. Namae. Yume. Kon ima. Oh, why am I? How am I blanking on such a staple word? I'm sorry, I forgot this. Okay. Wow. I can't believe I got that wrong. Ka ke shita shimo sageru kudaru orosu. So I talked about this in my last one. It feels like, it honestly feels like the simpler you go with the kanji, a lot of times you'll have like an obscene amount of pronunciation. So shita just means like low, below, but this also has, you know, all of these. Ka, ke, shita, shimo, sageru, kudaru, orosu. You know, kaidan o kudaru, like go down the stairs, sageru to lower, like to lower the price or something. Um, shita, shita, we just did that. Ka, you'll see that again. Ika, you'll see that again. So a lot of different ways to read these. So 
honestly, the best way to do this is just by reading practice because it's like one of those words where you never know. If you're just trying to read it based off memorization of the individual character, you'll never know if it's going to be the gay or the ka or the whatever or the shita. So it's just a matter of knowing the words themselves, I feel like. Haku shiroi. Haku shiroi, just uh, white. Sa, hidari. Okay, hidari, we're on left now. And from what I remember, it's this, that, then this. Left. Gakko no ko. Gakko. This is getting small. Let's scroll down a little bit. From what I remember, it's this and then this thing. School, right? Gakko, koko, high school. Ichien no en. Marui. En. That doesn't sound right. I think that's right. So it's going to be down, right, down, down, horizontal. Let's double check. Down, right, down, down, horizontal. Okay, we got it. Each yen. So it's like one uh, yen, like the currency of Japan, and then like circle. I'm gonna say good on that. Man, ban, yorozu. We just did this. Oh shoot! I'm already forgetting it. Ban. Damn it! I gotta. I might have to add like a word example because I keep forgetting these. I'm not gonna look at it this time. Tochaku arrive. Ima, now. Konban, this evening. Konya. Ichien no en. Marui. En, right? Ichien, so like. Oh, this. How much is this cookie? Oh, this cookie is 100 yen. We're getting there, we're learning how to write. Not gonna get you wrong this time, dude. Ten thousand. We did it. We are finished with like a hundred and ten kanjis for review. Where are we right now? Uh, let's see how many cards I have in my deck, aka how many I am familiar with. So in my deck, I have. 989 kanji that's pretty good right so i think they say that n2 is about a thousand kanji um give or take so we'll be in good shape to take the n2 exam um as far as kanji goes relatively soon now that's not to say that you know we're ready for reading and all that stuff listening for me um should be okay reading um you know you gotta know the vocabulary and stuff like that i have to practice reading a little bit i might start incorporating more reading sessions uh, maybe like passage reading and question and answer sessions for studying as well. Maybe like have kanji days and stuff like that. But um, yeah, for now, let's move on to kanji of the day. So before I would log off around this time because I was like, oh, you guys can't see. I don't want to practice with my finger, blah, blah, blah. But now that I have the pencil and I have the iPad kind of all set up and everything, um, I figure we could start learning new kanji together. Um, so whoever's watching, if you don't know these kanji yet, we can start practicing these bad boys right now and uh, kind of get through it together. So I like to do six kanjis a day. And um, so today's six kanji. So last we finished our kanji yesterday at N, right? Now today's kanji are going to be hanasu wa, like kaiwa. Kiku, like listen. Shoku, like food. Taberu. Yomu, like read. Yodoku. 
kuru rai, like come. And then sho, like, uh, you know, toshokan or something. So let's, let's start. So usually this is where I would have, I might have to set up a separate OBS screen for kanji study time because I referenced the Jisho uh, dictionary stroke to learn the stroke order. So let me start on a new page here. I like to, and this is weird. I really just like to have um, record of all the times I've practiced kanji. So I'll put today's date. Four, thirty, twenty-one. Okay, and then we will practice. So the first kanji is going to be wa. And honestly, I would look at the stroke order, but. Again, this is why learning stroke order is so important. I mean, obviously, this is a simple example. But when you are practicing and really being conscious of stroke orders, you can look at kanji and just know this is probably how it's written, as opposed to having to look up the stroke order. Now, it's always a good idea to confirm, because every once in a while, you'll come across something like weird. But for the most part, we can look at these kanjis and know how they're written, because they're quite basic, but because we've also been focusing on stroke order. So here we go. So what I like to do when I'm studying kanji is I will look at the kanji and I'll write two lines worth of it. So here, here we go. This is how I'll do it. So it's going to be word. And as you can see, as I keep writing, it just gets just gets dirtier and uglier. So if you're watching, go ahead. If you want, you can just start practicing these kanji with me if you don't know them already. Um, so I like to write two lines worth of them. Now, honestly. I'm trying to write big so everybody can clearly see what I am writing, but truthfully, when I when I am practicing kanji, I write it way more times than just the two lines that are appearing on here. So let me kind of show y'all. So this is me practicing. So as you can see, there's each line has way more characters in it, right? So that helps. Like the more times you write it, of course, the the more likely it is to kind of stick in your brain. So um, should I just start doing three lines worth instead of just two? I mean, again, this is a relatively easy kanji, so it's not like we're going to have a very hard time remembering. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to be extra judicious or studious or whatever. So let's go with that. Okay? So we just learned wa hanasu. Next one is going to be kiku. So just to be safe, I'll show you all how I usually do it. Um, I would... Okay. Oh, so y'all can, so can see my desktop. This might actually be helpful. So what I'll do is I'll look up the kanji here. And then I will just search the character. And then I'll look at the stroke order. It looks like there's a little gate and then a little ear inside. So it's like you listen. This kanji is a kanji for ear. So you just have it on the inside and pretty straightforward. So now let's practice. Kiku. So that's really small. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hard for you guys to see that. Let's try again.
Uh, it was a terrible song. Oh, you don't think so? I guess I could... If I could do it within these lines, that would be really nice. But let's see if I could... Can I pick the... Ooh, if I make it skinny, it would make it a lot easier. But that is just... I don't like skinny. Like, I feel like when you do a skinny, it loses some of, like, the the beauty or whatever that comes with the character. So let's stick with this size. Nope, oh, messed that one up. Okay, so that's Kiku. Appreciate the feedback, James. That really, really helps, man. All right, now we're at Shoku Taberu. Now, one thing about this, I recommended this document um, a few days back, but a lot of times what I've noticed is it might not have all the pronunciations. It might not have... Um, the right pronunciation sometimes, believe it or not, because this is handmade by somebody. So it's always, I always um, am careful and will double check the uh, the kanji itself and its pronunciations within Jisho, because this is more likely, this is likely more accurate. So we've got ku, like eat something. You often hear like that is like a more more casual way of saying taberu, gohan o ku, taberu. Shoku. Jiki. Okay. And this is pretty straightforward. We've seen this type of writing a hundred times. Okay, so let's do it. Let's try one more row, just for consistency's sake. And I really feel like my writing is literally getting uglier as I write more. Okay, so that's Shoku. The next word we have on our list is Doku. Or yo, like yomu. Yomimasu, like read a book. Dokusho, like reading books. So let's look at the shokura on this thing. The shokura is, again, it's word related. So it's going to have this guy right here. And then it'll have, this is actually um, zoku suzukeru, like renzoku, continuously. This is that, that kanji's right hand side. So... Things like that to kind of help you recall, like, oh, this is that. Like, I've seen this radical before, right? Um, or I've seen this part before. That helps um, kind of keep the kanji in your brain, at least in my experience. So the one thing to keep in mind is, like, this guy right here. Oops. This guy. It's not this, it's this. The bottom part is smaller, right? So we got to be careful about that. I was not good about being noticing that when I studied when I started in the beginning, and I had to relearn a lot of stuff. So let's make sure we are being conscious of that. So let's start again.
one more line should be enough. Okay, so we got Yomu and Doku recorded and good to go. The next kanji is Dai Kuru. Mirai, like future. And then Koko ni kite, Koko ni kuru. To come. You see how many readings this has, man? Like, man. But honestly, I guess when you look at this carefully, it's kind of all, uh, of the same root, kuru, we already the kita is like just the past tense. Kitaru, I don't know what the heck that is. I've never seen that before. Is that down here? Kitasu. Hmm. Is that in the book as well? Kuru, kitaru. Okay, we'll we'll learn it. We'll learn kitaru as well. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know what this little guy is, but here we go. So it's going to be horizontal line, diagonal, diagonal, horizontal, down, like that. So let's do it again. Okay, so we've got Rai Kuru done. Kitaru. And then I think this is the last one for the day. And that is Sho Ka. Toshokan. Looks kind of complicated, but it's just a bunch of lines, straight horizontal lines. Just go like this. Make sure that line goes through. Two more. Down. And then there's a sun. So not too complicated. So let's do that one. And then we should be good. We got to make the cards after that. Oh, it's not enough. Wait, is that enough? Yeah, that was good. closer man sitting so long will really start getting your back like i'm sitting on like a tempur pillow and everything just because it does start having an effect man especially when with all the working from home like you're just not as active as you know we once were so i try to be extra careful about um making sure like i get my runs in get my gym gym sessions in because, man, if I didn't, I would probably have, like, this over this past year, developed, like, serious back issues with just being so so stationary all the time, you know? Okay. Three lines worth of kaku, sho, and then I think that was the last one, right? Because our first one was... I think our first one was, what was it? Hanasu. Okay, let's put that in, in Jisho just to be extra consistent. All right, so now we have kanjis for today. Six characters. Hanasu wa kiku taberu 
く、読む、読く、来、来る、来たす、and 書く、書。So we've got our six characters. And now the next step, so at this point I could probably just put the iPad away for a little bit because our next step is going to be creating the cards in Anki. Now, I don't know how this is going to work because um, I mean, I've got a headset going, I've got the audio streaming, so I don't know how card making is going to work, but I can show, like demo, how I usually do it if I mean, anybody wants to replicate. So I'll get Anki going, I'll do the add button. And so our first kanji is going to be wa hanasu. So I will add wa. Oh, this is hanasu. So you gotta you gotta have the Japanese keyboard, right? Enabled. It's not something you gotta buy, it's just built into your computer. So we got that kanji. And now we know it's wa hanasu. What other yeah, wa hanasu. Yeah, that should be enough. And then I'll put words, example words that are related to it. So it's like kaiwa hanasu. And then I'll just record it. So you click up here and then you just hit record. Wa hanasu. Wa hanasu. How did that translate over? Did that sound okay over there? Is it too loud? I think I made that a little too loud. Wa hanasu. Wa hanasu. Had that. I'm not sure, James, if you're still here or whoever's here. Was that? If that's too loud, let me know, and I'll just stop doing that because I don't want to bust y'all speakers up. Not too loud. Okay, perfect. So we do that. And then normally, like, I have a, a two-monitor setup, right? So I've got one monitor here. I've got one monitor there. I've got my laptop down here. So I like to use all the screens together um, as opposed to just kind of having to, you know, minimize, maximize kind of all the time. But I want to make sure at least a few times on the stream I show how I do it. And that all sounds like the volume when you are testing yourself. Okay, perfect. All right, so we did that one. Next, we're going to go with this kanji, kiku. I don't know words with bun and mon, so let's look up some words. Bunken. Hmm. Shimbun. Okay. Duh. I don't know. Okay, but I, to be honest, I don't know about mon. But usually I like to record the different ones anyway, so I'll do this. Kiku. And then we have bun, mon, and then kiku. To hear. To hear, listen, and even ask. Right? That's kind of weird about Japanese, isn't it? It's like the word to hear is also the same word to ask a question. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So we have shimbun. Then we have, oh, you know what? No, it's different. Okay. Uh, let's just put kiku to here. Shimbun means newspaper. Kiku means to here. Now let's record. Bun, mon, kiku. Bun, mon, kiku. All right. So we got the, and that weird loud sound you hear is my MacBook just blasting the fan because it's just dying with all the things happening at the same time. But all right. Um, next is ku. Taberu. Shoku. Interesting. So shoku, look, so taberu is this, right? This is taberu. But shokudo. Okay. So it doesn't have to be sh Oh, so it's not Shoku, it's shoku. Okay, that makes way more sense. I kept reading that wrong. I was like, what is shoku, dude? I don't know this. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So on this one, we'll have shoku. Shoku, 
I don't know about G key. I'm just going to. I'm going to leave it as I'm going to put G key in there, but I probably won't record it. And then I'll confirm with like a, with my girlfriend or somebody that's Japanese to if do you actually use G key or is that just one of those words that you never use? And then we'll have ku. Taberu. Eat food. So we have shokuji. Shokuji means like food. Uh, I'll leave jiki on there and then I'll say ku. Gohan o ku. So again, that's like the slang ish, not slang, but like uh, kind of the um, casual way of saying eat something. And then taberu. So I'll say, shoku ku taberu. Shoku ku taberu. Okay. And the next one we have yomu. Yomu and doku. Doku. What is toku? Is there a word for toku on here? Toku hon? What? And then sometimes if there's way too many on Jisho, because Jisho will have like literally every possible pronunciation listed on here. I will reference this doc, and I'll because this doc tends to have more common pronunciations. Um, and so here just has yo mu and doku, so I'll just stick with those. But what I'll do is I will still write them. So every time I look at the card, I have a point of reference. So I'll say doku, toku, I'll say doku. Yomu, and then I'll have toku here, and I won't read that. Read. Doku sho, which means to read a book. Yomu, which also means to read. So we'll just record it now. Doku, yomu. Doku, yomu. Then we'll add that in there. And next card, kuru. Relatively straightforward to come over. This one is like rai, like shorai in the future. Kuru, kitaru. What I've noticed is, in my experience, when you you'll find onyomis, which are like the Chinese pronunciations, you'll find onyomis that, like I'll come across something that's written on Jisho, but it's almost never used in like day-to-day -day situations or common situations. But if it's in the kunyomi, odds are it's used. So it's good to. Um, it's good to have those in mind. Now, Jisho does goes extra, and it has like every like verb version of it. Like we don't need, you know, uh, kuru, kita. We don't need the the key here because we know by learning verbs and adjectives, we can convert it into different things. So, let's put kuru, kitaru, and then we might be able to just leave it as that. Unless, what is ko? Is there something for ko around here? I don't see a ko. So I'll just leave it as that. So I'll say come. Do next. Right. So this will be like raishu. Next week. Kuru. Kitaru. Kitasu. I'm going to put kitasu because kitaru has a, it looks like it has the same writing as kuru, and I, that could easily be mistaken. So I'm going to put kitasu here. And because I don't really, I'm not familiar with kitasu, I'll look at the word real quick. To cause, to induce. To cause, to induce. Okay. All right, here we go. And so. Oh, shoot, that wasn't being displayed. My bad. Okay, so on here we'll go. Rai, kuru, kitasu. Rai, kuru, kitasu. We got that going. All right, and then we got one last one, which is kaku. Sho, kaku. Right. This is relatively straightforward. Tosho, kan, library. Kaku, right. 
書書く書書く And if you notice, I was very like, you know, conscious of not saying 書書く I said 書書く because I want to emphasize to myself that this is an S H O U, like 書 This is 書 So it's not 図書館 it's 図書館 So it's important to know those little. In English, we might not hear the big deal. Like, what's the big deal? It's to, show, show, same thing. But in Japanese, that changes. Like, you know, show is a totally different that word than show. So it's important to be mindful of that. So we got that. So now we're done with the six kanjis.、Um, I usually like to leave them as new and not study them until the next day, just as a refresher. Because if I study them now, then I will, probably won't see them tomorrow. You know what I'm saying?、Um, So, but anyways, let's check out how many we're. We're really close to finishing all kanji for up to N2 level. We are at 995 kanji. That's crazy, right? That means tomorrow. Tomorrow, I should only have four left. And how annoying is this? I'll be at 999 kanjis learned. And it should have been a thousand, but whoever made this book, whoever made this document, had one kanji that appeared both in here, but also here in N3. I can't remember which one it was, but I was like, wait a minute, this is the same dang thing. And so that ended up being, making it to where、um, now instead of having a thousand, I only know 999. So that's kind of annoying. But yeah, we should be.、Um, Good to go tomorrow.、Uh, we'll learn the last four kanji and then officially be at 999. And、um, I'm going to start looking into textbooks to start figuring out what fits me best for、uh, studying N1 kanji. And then we'll begin that journey. That's going to be a tough one because at, right now, each kanji that we're doing tends to be simple.、Uh, it tends to be more simple. It tends to be like part of words that you already know. But with N2 and especially N1, you're going to see kanjis where the example words, you don't even know those vocabulary words. So you have to memorize from straight up zero. Like if I see this kanji, right? Like yomu. I know the word yomu. I know the word like dokusho, like to read, reading, right? So for me, I already have like half of the bases covered, like because I know, and it's just a matter of learning the kanji. But if I don't, if I didn't know what the word doku and yom, dokusho and yomu meant, then not only would I have to learn this as a vocabulary word, but I would also have to learn this as a kanji that I have to write. So that's like double the work. So six characters for N4 level, like these are all N4 level kanji, right? Are relatively easy. Like you go through them pretty quick. But six characters when I was doing N2 kanji, like that took me a while. Like because like that took me a while to do. I won't lie. Um, so, the study sessions for learning new kanji might be a little longer, but we got to get through it. Our goal is to be doing six a day.、Um, of course, we'll, we'll have to flex the schedule based off of you know, how busy we are, how busy I get with stuff.、Um, now that I'm graduating, my,、um, my graduation is, on, is in May. I'll have a lot more time where I won't have to focus on like, papers and, and stuff like that.、Um, so, I'll be able to dedicate more time. Consistently. I'm pretty consistent with studying. Like, if I don't learn new kanji, I at least review every day. And reviewing for me is the big thing. Because, like, for example, a few weeks ago, I went to Dallas、um, just to have a little reunion. My cousins were visiting. And I didn't study kanji for like four or five days straight. And, dude, I had like 400 kanji in my review deck. Okay? And my brain was. I've only been doing this since July of last year, as far as kanji writing goes. So, my brain hasn't grasped the language like it has for speaking. Speaking and listening, like I can take a week off and come back and I'll be fine, no problem. But with writing, man, I'm still very much in the molding phase of learning the language. So,、um, you know, I have to be consistent. So, no matter what happens, I like to at least get a review session in. So, And now that I have the setup going, I'll be way more consistent with the time. I'm going to try to be like, you know, make it like a 10 30 central every single night type of deal.、Um, and、uh, yeah, that's how it's going to be. But、um, James, I appreciate you being in the chat, man. It was、uh, nice to have you, you know, like, interact with you and kind of have you, you know, appreciate the feedback you gave me on the stream. I'm going to look into different OBS layouts. Um, and see what I can come up with. I might just make my camera smaller because I feel like I don't need to have this much space. Kind of, you know, 
I don't need that much space. So um, that should allow a little bit more space for um, having the Anki screen as well as the G-Show screen kind of side by side. But yeah, other than that, um, I'll be back on again tomorrow, Saturday, same time. I will hopefully be dropping that vlog uh, tomorrow as well. And um, yeah, man, look, look out for that as well. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, we're, that's it for the stream for tonight, and I'll see you all tomorrow.